everybody and welcome back to Game to Drive. So continuing with the update coverage, in this video I'll be showing you 5 new references and easter eggs that have been found after the release of the latest update. So all these references and these easter eggs, except for the last one which I proudly found myself, have been discovered by the very dedicated community in the official BMG subreddit. So thank you guys for your hard work because without it, this video would not have been possible. To be fair though, I also had to put in some effort because I actually had to find these references and these easter eggs in game and let's just say that it was not fun at all and I'll explain why later in the video. But yeah, before we start, make sure to subscribe and all that crap and yeah, with this being said, I don't want to waste your time any longer so let's get into it. So to begin with, we have a Need for Speed reference in BMG Drive. As you can see, I'm driving the recently added RAG configuration for the Ibishi 200 BX, and you might notice that this livery looks kind of funky. Well, fun fact, this livery is actually a reference to Ryan Cooper's Nissan 240SX in Need for Speed Pro Street. So in the original game, this car wasn't actually a drag car, I think it was a drift car or a normal street car, can't quite remember, never actually played the game, but who really cares? This is just a very cool reference and the coolest thing is they readapted the livery to BeamNG so as you can see you have all the BeamNG sponsors such as Blaster, Drade, Nomi, Apex, they're all here and yeah it's pretty cool. And of course it wouldn't be a Muya video without a nice crash. Yes. So moving on there's a nice little easter egg in the Ibishu Pigeon's interior. This easter egg already existed before the update but I discovered it yesterday so I thought I would include it in the video, also because I get to round up the number to 5 easter eggs instead of 4, you know what I'm saying? But if I stop for a second and I lower the camera, as you can see there's a little label that says do not make a steering sharply at the high speed. So this label in itself is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Like the attention to detail is insane, but an even cooler thing which not many people realize is the fact that they even made the same mistakes in grammar as a Japanese person working at a car company in the mid 90s would do. In fact, do not make a steering sharply at the high speed doesn't sound very English so when I found this out I was amazed like this is next level stuff. Plus this also made me laugh a bit. Next up we have the two monoliths. So if you haven't been living under a rock you should be aware of the recent discovery of a metal monolith in Utah like in the real world and they added this in game but as of the latest patch for BeamNG they have actually disappeared as they have in real life. So where I'm at right now is where the monolith used to be in game and as you can see now it isn't. Luckily I shot the thumbnail for this video when it was still here so that's a win for me. But anyways it's also kind of cool seeing that they're up to date on this stuff and that they've removed it. But don't panic if you were searching for a monolith because you could either go back to the previous version of BeamNG and have fun with it there or you could pull off a pro gamer move and search for the other monolith which you can find in Jungle Rock Island. So here I am in Jungle Rock Island, I've spawned in port for reference and we're going to be finding out if the other monolith is still here. So I'm making my way out of the port, you should know where this road is, come on. And now I'm going to go left. Another left here and I hit the barrier, nice. But yeah, now you want to carry on driving on this road until you find the beginning of a dirt path. And here it is, so you want to go right and make sure to launch your diffs, otherwise it's not going to be fun for you. Here, you want to continue straight and yeah, happy off-roading. There's a nice muddy section here for reference and another one and here you want to keep going straight. There it is! There it is! It's still here! And yeah, here it is! You can finally post your screenshot on Reddit as everybody else. Nice! And now it's time for the very last easter egg. The one I actually found myself. Get ready because this is something else. 
So I found this easter egg actually by accident, believe it or not, and if it weren't for this, nobody would have ever known about it, which is kind of sad to me actually. So as you can see, we're at the lighthouse right now in Jungle Rock Island and I'm going to go up this road to the right. So you're going to need a very capable off-roader for this and my recommendation is using a fat boy like this one. Even this is struggling. Oh, the diffs were open. That's why. Anyways, boys, remember to lock your diffs, otherwise you're not going to make it. Let's start over, shall we? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Come on. All right, there we go. Nice. So here you want to keep going straight. And as you can see, and this road is so, so hard. All right, switch to something a little more nimble since that boy was way too wide. All right, easy does it. That did not sound good. Man, look at this professional off-roader. I'm gonna use the nodes. So even the little rock crawler was too wide for this, so I switched to a Piccolina. Hopefully this works. Unfortunately, this is rear wheel drive only and yeah, I definitely didn't use nodes to get here. Yeah, that was all my driving. But you're thinking, what's so special about this place? I mean, th there's literally nothing special here. You see, this is where you're wrong. So can you see it? Am I the only one? <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't get me demonetized. In my opinion, it's a bit too vague, but come on devs, come on. You thought you could pull this off without anyone noticing? Too bad for you because I play the game. Anyways, guess I'm done here. These were the five Easter eggs. <laughs> oh, it's so weird to look at it. <laughs> Am I the only one with a twisted mind here? Come on, I can't be the only one. Let me know in the comments. Anyways, these were five references and easter eggs that have been discovered after the release of the latest update. So, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and all that crap. And yeah, with this being said, I guess I'll see you very soon.